For people with slow computers, before taking your computer to the repair shop or even thinking about replacing it, please check out RemoteTechAssistance.com. Also, make sure you check out the 7 Simple Secrets to Make Your Computer Run Faster. It is simple, it is free, and it is safe. Check it out at RemoteTechAssistance.com. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I am going to show you how to fix all OneDrive issues, specifically where it's stuck on the message processing changes. Normally, when it comes to this error, you usually do some research on how to fix this problem and they tell you to do something with the registry, unlink and relink OneDrive simply, or uh, just some things that just simply don't work. Today, I'm going to show you the real solution as to how to solve it. First, you will need to make sure that you have the latest version of Windows 10, and I will explain about that later. Okay, so to access the OneDrive options, we will want to right-click on the OneDrive icon in the bottom right corner and click on Settings. Then we will want to click on unlink this PC. And it's going to ask us if we really want to do this. And now we click on unlink account. Now during this part, it will take some time to unlink OneDrive from this computer. Now OneDrive is done unlinking. Now before we go further into this procedure, it's time to go to OneDrive online to make sure everything is still there. And this is just a safety precaution that I like to take so I don't accidentally delete my files in the process. So to confirm that everything is still there safe and sound, I'm going to OneDrive.com. And now I'm going to sign in to my Microsoft account. Now, to be safe, I'm not going to show you me logging in as with my information. Now, once you are logged into OneDrive, you will want to make sure that everything is there, and this is everything that's in my OneDrive, so it's still saved everything into the cloud. The other way you can check is on the bottom left corner how much storage you are using. It currently says that I'm using 928 gigabytes out of one terabyte. This is because I have an Office 365 account, but this is about correct so we can go into the OneDrive folder. To do that, we will want to go into this PC and then go to wherever your OneDrive is located. Mine is located on the storage drive and there it is. And now we can click on delete. And now it is deleting everything from the OneDrive folder from the hard drive. It is time to relink OneDrive to the computer. So we'll want to click on the OneDrive icon. We'll want to left click it this time so we can access this menu and sign in. Once again, I'm not going to show you my login information. Now we'll want to click on the sign in icon and now it wants us to input the password. Now we can sign in. Now. Before we go further, I would like to change the location to my storage drive. So what we'll want to do is click on change location, this PC, and then the storage drive. You can click on select folder, and now it is changed to the storage drive. We'll want to click next. Click 
click on the last dot to access this open my OneDrive folder. And we wait for it to process changes. Please note that when you're doing this, uh, do not be alarmed by anything. What OneDrive is doing is it is fetching the files from the cloud as opposed to downloading it automatically to your hard drive. So you don't have to worry about using up bandwidth or uh, using up hard drive space. It's just technically uh, syncing files from the cloud. Now, you'll see that every folder that you just saw online, its status is still in the cloud. And even though it's still fetching files from the cloud and everything is on demand, you have the ability to download it directly to the hard drive. And I want to explain to you about that feature. The reason I tell you to make sure you have the latest version of Windows is because starting with Windows 10 version 1709 or the Fall Creators update, you are able to access your OneDrive files on demand. In other words, you can save disk space by either having the files up in the cloud still or downloaded directly to your hard drive. Now, this is a very important part. Now, when it comes to downloading files to the hard drive, I safely do not like to do everything at once unless if I'm on a high-end network speed. I like to do small files first, and then later on, I would like to do the big files. This way, I don't have to worry about accidentally screwing up OneDrive in the process again. And that is how you solve all of your OneDrive problems, specifically the processing changes problem. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and check out some of my other tech videos too.